Hi there, my name is Andre Lawrence and welcome to EQ Episode 3. Welcome to Evolution Quickies, my new series of short videos that gives updates on product reviews from the past as well as answers viewer questions and much more. In today's video, I'll be giving an update on the hood struts that I installed in December of 2020 for my Nero EV. On December 4th of 2020, I released a product review and installation video of the Xiangshang gas hood struts from my Kia Nero. Now, when I did the installation, I was really happy with them and I still am. But there were a couple things that I said that I would give an update about. One was some of the hardware that was used to install it, and the other was how I installed them in terms of one of two possible positions that I could have put them in. Now the reason that I've left the hood struts in the initial position, the furthermost mounting point, was because there's something that'll interfere with the hood strut if you close the hood and have them in that second position. Let me show you what I mean with this camera here. When I initially installed the hood struts, they were installed at the frontmost mounting point. The second mounting point is the other option. Now the reason that I didn't install it there is because if it was mounted to this point and I was to close the hood, the under the hood OBD2 diagnostic port would pretty much get crushed by the hood strut and probably break the mounting point. Now I could remove this from its mounting point, it's just a clip that you can see right here but I didn't want to mess with that and honestly the hood works just fine as it is and there's no real point in me moving it. So with regards to mounting position, leaving it in the original front mounted spot is fine for me. Now there was an important note that I didn't mention in the video but I actually did and put in the description of the video is that the ball sockets both at the bottom and the top needed to be greased. Now I did grease them off camera and they are installed with grease. So if you've purchased these hood struts and you didn't grease them like I was supposed to tell you to do, then I would suggest just unclipping them, sticking in some grease and that'll prevent them from making noise and allowing for longer life, avoiding premature wear. Now the other point that I wanted to talk about was some of the hardware that I used or that was provided with the hood struts when I did the installation. Now the washers that came with the kit didn't seem to be galvanized and I was a little bit worried about rust. So let me show you what they look like after driving with them for one winter. And you guessed it, there's some rust. So if you look right here, you'll notice that at the joint between the washer and the bolt, there is some rust that has formed. Now I will be removing the washer and cleaning things up and probably just giving it a quick coat of black rust paint so that way it'll avoid rust in the future. Now there is one other point that I found on these hood struts that I wasn't too thrilled about. It doesn't really interfere with how they work but in the long term I'm wondering how they'll hold up. And it has to do with the actual strut arm. Now when the hood is closed the end of the cylinder rests in one particular point and with the car driving over bumps and the rattling and everything, there is a little bit of a wear spot on both sides. Let me show you what that looks like with this camera here. Now, if you'll notice, hopefully you'll see it on this camera, I'm not 100% sure, but right here is a wear spot and it's only on the top because I'm guessing that's where most of the pressure is. Let me get around on this one. And I think you can see that here. Let me show you the other strut you'll see that on this one, it's a little more pronounced and there's actually a little bit of corrosion from road salt that we use here in the province of Quebec. Now, what I'm going to be doing is cleaning this off and giving it a very thin coat of rust protected paint and that should do the trick. As for the bolt that holds it in, this one doesn't seem to have as much rust, but if you look on this side, there it is. So how does this influence my decision on what I've purchased and do I regret it? Not really. They were so inexpensive that I didn't expect anything of super high quality. And to be quite honest, I don't think that anything from Kia, if it was available, would be any better because it all comes out of the same plants in China. Now, with that being said, I will take these off. This is a little clip that needs to be popped up and then you can lift the ball socket and then I'll just undo the parts that are there clean them off quickly, give them a quick spray paint, and then put it all back together. As for this little arm here and on the other side, 
I think just a quick cleaning with a uh, scuffing pad and a quick shot of paint should solve the problem. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that the wear point on the strut arm was the end of the cylinder. But while I was painting and cleaning things up, I realized that that wasn't actually the case. The problem comes from a contact point on the bottom of the hood on the arm itself. And I only saw that when I was doing some verification while I was getting ready to paint. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Now, if you look right here, you'll notice this contact point has some corrosion. Now, what happened is while the car was driving and there was some vibration and this was contacting the metal arm, the hood is aluminum and the arm, I'm guessing, is steel, which causes galvanic corrosion. That means that the two metals don't go well together and, well, they cause corrosion. I'm going to be cleaning this up, painting it, and then applying a rubber strip on top, something that's very thin, but will allow for the metal to be separated from the arm. Now, as for the paint job that I did on the parts that I cleaned up and painted, let me show you with this camera here up close. As you can see, I painted the washer after having cleaned it up and the bottom of the pivot arm or the pivot bolt, I guess you'd call it with the little round head. I painted the bolt part and the underneath. So the contact points are now completely painted. As for the arm itself, as you can see, there is a little bit of a demark from where I painted, but this is very thin. And you can tell that it's got a little bit of a wear point because it contacted with the hood after it dried. I'll be fixing that shortly. While I was here, I decided to remove these and paint them up because they were starting to show some rust. There are four of them. There's two, three, and four. Now you can see on this one, I also painted the washer and the bolt. So it looks much better with no rust. And I painted the contact point on the arm. Now I will be fixing this again and putting the rubber pad up at the top. I really hope you're enjoying this new series called EQ or Evolution Quickies. These videos are a lot easier for me to make because it's pretty much only one camera, sometimes two, and a lot less fancy editing stuff going into them. Now, don't worry, I will be coming out with more in-depth videos. I actually have two car comparison videos that I'm going to be working on very shortly. I'm in the planning stages right now. And in case you didn't know, or if you're new to my channel, I do have some social media links. I'll put them in the description below and up here on the screen for you to see what they look like. If you feel like buying me a coffee and Kofi, I would really appreciate it. If you already have, thank you very much. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this new version. <clears throat> There's always a plane. There's always a plane when I want to finish. I really hope you're enjoying this new series of episode of episode quickies. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please put it in the, please put it in the, my phone is buzzing and distracting me because, you know, they're much faster for me to make and I have a good time making them because it's a lot easier, a lot of less work, a lot of less work. They are a lot of fun to make because there's so much less work. What is with the plane? You just took off. Can you get out of here? If you didn't know, I do have some multimedia, some multimedia links. You know that plane? It's coming back again and driving me crazy. Can this guy not go fly somewhere else?